It's that Tiger H. I'm going to see if I can't get around behind him. <laughs> Hit that pussy from behind. <laughs> What is up, Flight here? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more War Thunder. Today, we're going to be continuing our tank request series. I have made content of, of 1.63, the stuff that I wanted to put up first personally. Now it's y'all's turn to pick what I play. In the comments below, pick a tank or a plane in a tank for uh, Tank RB. But today, we're going to stick with 1.63 again, just because I wanted to try out this tank a little bit. The FV4202. I really didn't make too much of a fuss about this tank. However, now looking at it, it looks really good. Maybe a little bit too good. Maybe really, really good. This is a 6.0 tank. Look at this thing's armor. Upper plate, angled at 69 degrees. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, a Tiger 88 uh, shell can go through this just because of overmatch, but I don't know if that's been correctly... Um, done in War Thunder, but I believe this would, you know, this armor right here would be designed to counter the Tiger's 88, but maybe not. The turret, though. Look at this thing. Look at this turret. This thing, I mean, I think your only bet for going through the turret on this thing is through the turret ring, and in my experience with the turret ring, you know, a lot of the times that thing behind the armor eats a lot of the shrapnel and high explosive. So, you know, it might not be the best option, but that's 200 millimeters thick. And as we get more slopey and more angles, look how trolly this turret is. I don't think you will be able to go through this turret if it's looking at you. So with that understanding, I'm going to make this thing a hold down beast. I'm not even going to rely on this upper plate or, or this lower plate. We're going to play this thing hold down. We got negative 10 gun depression, which is just phenomenal. Now with looking at the gun, this is a 6.0 tank, so all we have is AP, armored, well, it's actually a little bit better than AP, armored piercing cap, ballistic cap shells, which have really good penetration, but no high explosive potential, which is fine. What I've noticed about some British, or a lot of the British AP rounds, is that they are much better at ammo racking than before when they were first implemented, at least in my opinion. Welcome to Port Nova. We got a pretty cool team set up. We're exclusively versing the Russians. So we have the Germans and the Americans on our team, which is just marvelous. I, I, I'd rather verse the Russians any day than the Germans. The Germans just scare me with their 88 millimeter. We got an enemy to the left. That is a Russian machine. Goodbye. He's still shooting, though. Let's check right, though. So I'm going to push my tank up here and look to the left. I'm, I should be kind of hold down over here. No one's here. This is a good spot. We'll stay here just maybe for a minute. Somebody. There goes a minute. <laughs> I want to push up. We got an enemy. Okay, we got a PT-76. Well, there goes a bounce. Driver, gunner. Let's see if we can't get it a little bit down in there for the kill. There we go. Beautiful. He shot again. No pen. This thing's beastly, dude. That 88, that I mean that 85 millimeter has no contents to this thing. Well, let's check left here. We got some chevrons popping up over here. Good hit right there. We're bouncing on this object right or this this curve, which kind of sucks. But hopefully, this is where I need to shoot. No pen. A little bit too close to the mantlet. There we go, we got him. Beautiful. I am just... The, the Russians usually do really well on urban maps. But just look at this stomp here. Okay, KV-85. Oh, that Panther's taking hits. Let's push up and let's... Actually, I think if we just turn our attention to the left, we'll catch some people off guard here. But on the right side, they are kicking some ass, though. There we go, one tango. Dead. Left side's clear. Let's push up to the right. Then hang a left. What are the teams? Goodness. Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> Stand by, reload. Not you, you're not gonna pen me. <laughs> this thing's fu oh come on. The thing. <laughs> Don't worry, we 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 just gotta hide this mantlet here. There we go. Try as you must, you will never succeed. Sitting on the dock of the bay, reloading. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it feels so good. It feels so good. Say goodbye, bitch. There we go. Oh my god, this thing is mean, dude. Should this thing be at 6? I would say 6.3. But even then it might have... It might still be dominant. Okay, we're moving up. We're just going to maintain our heading on this street here, just in case some new spawners come in. We don't want to turn our side too much. we got a panther to the right. I don't want to spawn camp either. But we're versing the Russians. Why Why not? Why not, right? So we're just going to chill right here if anyone pops pops out. So we're just going to chill right here. If anyone wants to pop out, that's uh, their problem. But holy crap, what a first experience with the FV4. Ooh, a plane. 202. I don't think I've ever had a tank that could completely disarm the 88 or the 85 millimeter Russian. This is going to be the real challenge here or the real test. We are versing the Germans on a range map, Second Battle of El Alamein. I don't. I don't think my gun is going to be able to have enough punching power to shoot that far and actually these guys are late to the party so I might be able to get some side shots on them if I get into a proper position. Right here is a Tiger 1. A Panzer 4 actually. Shit. Okay, let's watch this little corridor right here. That's where the, that first Tiger 1 we spotted went. Let's see if we can't nick this Panzer 4. Oh, okay, there's a Tiger. Unfortunate right there. He's he, he's at a good angle too right now. Don't shoot me. Okay, I'm waiting for him to balance out here. Right there. Mm, missing his ammo just by a little bit. Okay, let's take this guy out of the battle. Okay, so let's try to find a good position to um, shoot at that Tiger 1 again because we've, we, I think we've taken down three of his crew members already. Now we have an FV4202 moving up. Um, he should be able to get side shots on him soon, I'm pretty sure. There we go. Another one right here. Look at, look at this gun depression right now. We should be able to go through there. Ooh, we almost did something. Now we're going to be able to... Hang on, let's see what he wants to do here. He, he just shot and we were reloaded. Missed that shot. Ooh, nice shot, nice shot right to the mantlet. Nine second repair. Got a panther on us. We'll shoot at him first. Got his loader. Nice. Good teamwork. Thank you, IS2. Got the driver. Trying to take down some of his crew. Wow. That's kind of extreme. Poor shot right there. But we're hold down, so I don't think this guy can do anything to us unless he shoots through our mantlet. Yep, or my gun. That's there's a weak spot on here. Let's try to see where it is. Ooh, it's right through there? Really? Let 
I thought that was probably one of the most armored portions of our tank. But we're up in nine seconds. We gotta reload the gun. Okay, he's dead though. Perfect. Okay, let's start to move up. We can actually call artillery on some people over here. Okay, we got a slower reload. We've lost two of our crew members. I gotta re go I gotta recheck that amp that uh, armored value. But I, I know the I know the left side is weaker, but maybe when they can join, there's not an angle for them to have to shoot through. Okay, now any other tigers over here? We got a, a meal. We got one close too. We got a long reload though. He has a depression to get us. Trying to get below his um, depression. We're gonna go for his loader side. Some more ammo. Well done, team. Thanks for cleaning it up. <laughs> Tango fart. I know. Oh, just just an anti-air. We'll try to get him here. Got him. Now we got one guy sniping on this ridge. Yeah, we got a, a tiger right there. Emil's down. Still alive. How many kills have we got? We've got three. No, four kills. Sweet, sweet. Let's try to go for the ace. Now I feel like once I push past this barrier, this is where, you know, I, I won't be able to hold down. I'll be, to be more risky. Now this guy up here just took a shot. So maybe I might feel a little bit more confident to push out. I'm going to see if I can get a shot onto this tiger's um, turret here. Not that much space yet. Actually, I don't even... Ooh, wait. Is there somebody over here? Nope. Someone just died, though. A little too low. Reloading. That should do it. Good hit. Same shot. Good hit again. Anti air is up. Let's see if we can get a little bit more uh, turret profile here. Just too low. I want to get to that back portion of the turret. Got an anti air right here. Not too worried about him. Oh, that was a good hit, too. I was hoping for the kill, but he still has some more crew. Enemy plane up. A little bit down. Oh, come on. I think he just broke his cannon barrel. There we go. Okay. Nice kill on the tiger. We got a guy right. But I think the uh, someone else got him. Pushing up, and we'll just hold here. It feels like I'm kind of playing a British King Tiger. You know, because the German tanks now have to aim, if I'm playing hold down, at a specific point on my turret for it to go through. And with versing the, uh... Ooh, hello. What are you? You look scary. A little bit too low. <laughs> Don't worry, he won't be moving, guys. Finish him off. Let's hit right here. Rockets inbound? Wow, that's fucking scary. A little bit higher. Right there. Good shot. A little bit lower for the, for the third shot. Come on, Malice. Help me out here. There we go. Trying to get that ammo in the back, but we didn't get the Typhoon finished off that kill. But yeah, I feel like I'm playing a British King Tiger. Because, I think I already said this, but just to repeat... When you're versing the King Tiger from the front, you, you gotta shoot him in the melee, you know? So, so the tides are evening out. I don't know if they have changed, but they are evening out. What else we got over here? Osvin just got that uh, Typhoon down. Nice shooting, man. So I'm gonna be getting a third game in the FV4202. I've just been really... I mean, usually I don't do three battles in a tank, but I'm just really enjoying my time with it. 
you know, I said before, I just feel like I'm in a British version of a King Tiger. Instead of sauerkraut, there's tea bags everywhere. We got an enemy way off in the distance. We're just, uh, by the way, we're on Normandy right now. We came around just to clear all the flankers out because we are versing uh, the Germans and the Russians, but I'm more scared about the Russians flanking right now. Okay, but we got an enemy over in the... No, we do... Ooh, I didn't check far enough. Look at that. Oh, man. That charioteer just got messed up. We're going to turn our attentions to the left side of the map, hunker down over here, and hopefully we'll get a side shot on some enemy tanks trying to flank around us. Enemy right there. No, that was just... No, that was Shadow. I thought I saw a Capola or something. Maybe someone was there. Tango spotted. I knew I saw something over here. It's that Tiger H. I'm going to see if I can't get around behind him. <laughs> Hit that pussy from behind. <laughs> Why have I never connected the two, huh? Why have I... Guys, relax, relax. Come on, that's that, that's inappropriate. We have we have children watching this channel right now. At the same time... Come on, gun. Fucking rotate. Oh, yeah. Oh! oh. At the same time, this channel is marked mature, okay? So just take that with a grain of salt. Okay, Tiger H down just with that AP right to the ammo. All right, so now we're going to head towards B. Watch the left side in case any new tanks try to venture into the middle map. What the hell? Are British the top dogs now? Maybe maybe paired paired with the Americans, potentially. Maybe just bad teams, but, you know, the Germans and the Russians are a very good team put together. But, you know, the American tanks and the British tanks, are, you know, have just been getting better and better with the addition of the T-29 and other different variants of the American tanks. Okay, let's see if we can't wrap up some more kills. We got a T-44 close. Turning the turret to the right. Let's see if we see anybody. Oh, we got someone right in here. I just can't see what it is. Spraying machine guns. Okay. Stand by. Like a Ferdinand. There we go. A little more to the right or left, excuse me. A little bit higher to the left for the ammo. That guy's like, how is he shooting me? Hacks, I say! Muhahaha! <laughs> okay, so he's down. There should be a T44 over here. Now, I don't want to push out too much because we're kind of near their spawn. But I don't want to shoot in their spawn as well. Because that's not cool. Unless it's like, uh, uh, oh my god, hang on. They're starting to push back a little bit here. We got some guys on the beach, but I'm going to stay right here and just protect B for a little bit longer. Ooh, 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 someone's capturing it. Where the fuck are you now? I'm going to back up a little bit just so we have some elevation on this fence or this stone wall. So we just had a plane fly over the objective. He didn't spot anybody, though. Um, now, he probably didn't see him. Ooh, 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 ooh. So, someone, someone's spotting somebody. Just, just I want to give a PSA. If you guys don't have uh, rockets or bombs, use your guns to spot for your team. It really helps us out. Okay, so I'm going to push up into the objective. See if I can't find this guy hunkering down. Come on, brother. Okay, I think he's behind the church. Moving in quick. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I think the Nashorn just got him. Nope, a Spitfire just got the Nashorn. Uh, do we have anyone else? Uh, yeah, we got some... The M41 is starting the um, spawn camp. Yeah, it's, it's, it's game over. It's game over. Really, that was just... Woo! Someone shot me from afar. Bombs incoming. I'm running. Those are big bombs. I don't know. Oh, goodness gracious. Guys, so thanks for hanging out today. I appreciate you guys checking out this video. My overall feeling of the FV4202 is that it's probably one of my favorite British tanks or top five favorite tanks in the game, primarily because if you play it the way it's supposed to, it rewards you. That that turret, that hold down. Is just it just makes it fun, makes it really fun because armor's not really a thing in War Thunder. 
Um, everyone kind of knows where to shoot. Everyone round goes through each other, especially at 6.0 going up. Now the tiger, and you know the tiger, blah blah blah. Tiger two, I'm talking about. Is well, you can't pen it from the front unless you hit the mantlet. But um, there's few tanks in the game where, where you can control bounces, and this turret and playing it hold down really gives you the chance to do that. And you saw that in the first game. That 85 millimeter had no, no contest, no contest at all. And even 88s at far range have have trouble going through this. But again, guys, um, this tank should really be 6.3 though. Should really be 6.3. Anyways, guys, thanks for hanging out today again. Uh, in the comments below, vote on what new tank, what tank, what tank and plane. Let me know. Guys, have a great day. Peace out.